50 hectares. Thank you. Okay, alright everyone. My name is Arthur and originally I was from Singapore but I've been living in New Zealand for the past 28 years. I'm a lifestyle farmer in the city of Palmerston North which is approximately about 2 hours north from Wellington or the capital of New Zealand. And I'm just going to check out some of the lovely alpacas at Navilia Farm which is in the city of Karamanui and they are approximately about 5 hours north from Wellington. Alpacas are a breed of animals that I've always wanted to learn more and to see them. They are incredibly adorable. So the wool that comes from alpaca, they are produced into a range of merchandise and we'll have an opportunity to check out some of the merchandise as well. I got Miracle with me. Miracle is a two-year-old boy and he loves to be, you know, rubbed just uh, along the neck. Not necessarily on the head, but in this case, Miracle is fine. And uh, he also loves to be touched along the side of the body as well, but uh, not just, not, not at the back because um, he might kick. And as you can see, he is very comfortable with being around humans. Alpacas have a lifespan of, you know, could be averaging 15 years. But according to the owners and Nivelia of alpacas, there are alpacas who are literally up to about 22 to 23 years old and they are still alive and grazing around on this lovely piece of land. So I've got Miracle here with me and I'm just going to lead Miracle for a walk up to the valley and we'll go check out the rest of the gorgeous alpacas. Isn't it cool? Now I can say to most people that I've had the opportunity to lead dogs, sheep and alpacas. The Nibila alpacas is spread over 350 hectares. Thank you. <laughs> Just had a case from Miracle. That's amazing. And uh, this place was started approximately about 15, 16 years ago and started with two alpacas. And right now, they have over a thousand alpacas on this farm. The alpacas are bred largely for the wool and it's used to make into a range of merchandise and clothing. And the alpacas are also bred and sold New Zealand wide as pets in local paddocks. But at the same time, many of them have been exported overseas to countries like Germany and London as well. And many of them have been in shows as well and they've won a number of prizes. In this paddock here, and under the tree, there's our, some of our pregnant females. Um, there's about 180 in the herd here. Um, their gestation period is about 11 and a half months. They're quite free and easy birthers. Um, about three to four weeks before they unpack, that's the term for giving birth, we bring them out into the flat paddock so we keep an eye on them. Um, they usually birth in daylight hours on a nice fine day, so they're very considerate and it's always interesting to see what they're going to have and what colour it will be. It's a soft, soft pad under the foot. So this unit, this bit over here is their sweat gland and this is how they perspire. So guys, so as you can see just behind me, I've literally got over 80 alpacas and it is feeding time and I just want to give it a go. These animals are so, so cute. So I've got right here a special fit that's put together or formulated for alpacas. So this is a bit like comfort food, it's got all sorts of minerals that are good for alpacas and they are largely given to pregnant alpacas so that they feel a bit more comfortable just before they give birth.
So this alpaca that I have is approximately about 8 months old and he has just been shorn. But if you look at alpacas that have yet to be shorn, this is what they look like. And once they have been shorn, I would say they are a lot more adorable. So some of these alpaca behind me, they might look big but they are only 4 months old. And the only reason why they look large is because they have not been shorn. Hi everyone, I've got a newborn alpaca and his name is Autumn and Autumn is only two days old. How amazing is this? He's so resilient and he's so alert. I mean, check out the way that he looks on screen. And so this alpaca standing in the middle between these two adults, he is only a day old. How resilient is he? And mum is also keeping a close eye on him to make sure that he's nearby. Look at the size of the eyes. Baby alpacas are actually known as Cria, C-R-I-A. That's how it's spelled. And when he was born, he weighed approximately about seven kilograms. And you know what is even more amazing about mum is that the gestation period, it's 11 and a half months. Just about is, but okay. this piece here is not. So I've right. just run a whole lot out to the room. And I have to say, the folks at Neville Farm, they are very, very fussy, but for good reason. So this piece of wood, it's incredibly soft to me, but to them, it is not. So what we do is that instead of letting this go to waste, these are used in duvets, so they'll be nice and comfortable once it's washed and used for as materials for duvets. So this piece of alpaca wool is the bits that's along the side of the leg and it's uh, because it's quite fine and the fact that it's hard to get them in one piece, they're actually used for house insulation and it goes in between walls. You can see how fine the wool is and I'll say this would be at least about one eighth the thickness of the hair, approximately one eighth the thickness of the hair. And this material, this wool from this alpaca will be used to produce into clothing. Hi, I'm Kelly. And I'm Leone. And we're from Neverly Alpacas. We're proud to say that Neverly Alpacas have been sought after not only in New Zealand, but overseas as well. Um, we produce a range of merchandise for customers, anything from our baby wear, which is made here on the farm, um, and also hand knitted. This is our natural brown, our natural black, and a natural white.